We're going to be playing Red Dead Redemption today. This is my favorite game of all time, and I cannot believe they added it to Steam. I have been begging on my knees for this. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. Mr. Marston. Our beloved boy. The nostalgia is hitting right now. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that man spread. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chilling like a villain right there. I am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My dad settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us. Please, how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. But father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier than <laughs> Judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the Tom family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. <laughs> remember my dear is that we have been brought here to spread the word and the word and civilization they are the same thing they are the gifts it is the opportunity we have the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other and who let you worship in peace uh, it, it's so confusing father sometimes 
I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Armadillo. Goodness. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's the day I lost her. Sometimes. I'm Kate. Your friend from Blackwater hired me to gag you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. He's still falling. <laughs> That's what you keep saying. You ain't gonna find 30 of horses and these in all of New Orleans. Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point in causing a rope. Woo there. Come on. Easy. Oh my goodness. Easy. Subtitles on. Okay. Well, like I said, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but. Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. <laughs> Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landed. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Gosh, this game... It's still beautiful. Yeah. I don't care. Like yeah. even just the skybox. Oh, oh my god. Hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. Oh, 
I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Not far now, Mr. Marston. <laughs> the fort's just over this hill. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Listen, mister. This here's what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. Oh, oh, oh. oh, do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> <laughs> You implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bro got laid out. Immediately. <laughs> Expeditiously. I love that Red Dead games always start out with John being in some sort of peril. <laughs> Brother is always getting himself hurt. <laughs> I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. 
Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. <laughs> Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. They're so cute. Oh boy. He kind of runs like a Roblox character. <laughs> Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. I figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. I'm sorry, I just... I was so excited. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Come on, it's time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. Whoa! No oh word. is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've <laughs> stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Roasted. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Oh, I'm losing the plot. And I'm losing the plot. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Hello, mister. Come on, this is the only chance you're gonna get to rest. <laughs> Cold drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you.
Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and the way that he immediately people. reached for his we gun. Have to keep on the <laughs> when he woke up. Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Come on, then. Let's mount up and take a look around. Oh, oh my god. I just pushed her. <laughs> yeah. I'll keep my eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. <laughs> Oh god. Much obliged for the help. Them rabbits can be wily little critters. Let's get back on the horses and see what else is going on. Them wily rabbits. We've still got plenty of ground to cover. Giddy up! If it's not the rustler stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. <laughs> Was that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the livestock. Oh boy. Oh, okay, we're going for it. Did I just shoot the chicken in its well, mouth? We got rid of the <laughs> I, just wish I think I just shot the chicken in its I'll mouth. Back to your room. <laughs> Is that what? <laughs> you know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. <laughs> I believe the town of Blackwater would benefit from some kind of parade. Our munitions are in our range. So pretty. Is there stew? 
Not for me. No camp stew for me. Go Let's speak go. to Bonnie. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. <laughs> See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale. And <gasps> don't you dare. You, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money <laughs> from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. I'm no right, city boy, I'll thanks. How do you do, sir? Come on, yeah. boys! Y'all are about to hear some crazy button mashing. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! Go, go, go! go. You don't know me at all, Mr. Farland. You ain't getting away that easily. Oh, yeah. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Mr. Farland. <laughs> Should I wait for you to catch up? Smack talk. Are you saving the best for last? <laughs> Come. Would you like me to slow down? Oh boy. Go. I have got you now. Where do you think you're going? Yeah. Yeah. 
So cute. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marshall. Lightning McQueen was a cowboy. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Okay, I gotta stop. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, the have puppy. you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two <laughs> theories to arguing with women. And neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I love that she was psychoanalyzing him. <laughs> Yo, why did they gotta put so many people on the road? You dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit. It's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul <laughs> always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. He kind of fell in laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back. And... I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. <laughs> so this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. First one's on me. Thank you, <laughs> I'll pay.
pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. <laughs> Behave <laughs> is what she said. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hello, sir. I got stock of them electric belts if you need to lose Thank weight. You electric belts? What? Damn, she got her supplies quick. Hello. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view once. Getting a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. At least I can do it. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. <laughs> Roger Dodger. The pony. I wasn't sure if it would be here or not. How are you this morning, sir? Let's go. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> <laughs> Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess Why? because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. <laughs> you must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, to get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking hard. Dick. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? 
Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks that live here. Whole world has problems, mister. I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burned down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <laughs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. The saloon's this way. There's a new sheriff in town. Who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. The way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folks. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. Rat bastard. Let's follow. Let's see what kind of hole he crawls into. God, that hat is ridiculous. <laughs> Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. He spotted you. Stay on him, boy. Boy. As you say he is, why don't we just beep him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's the man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. That law is easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walt's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Wagon to your right. Give it to me. There's one behind the crate. Take it down. I'll kill every last one of them. You ain't taking me to life. Get to that crate. I got you covered. That fool behind the rock is yours, Marston. You're about to go meet your maker, and I doubt he's too happy with you. Take more than one of you, partner. Here's one of them. I'll back 
you up to hell's back door, Walt. Yeah! I'm sorry, I didn't have my my fists out. Check in with me next time you're in town. I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marshal. Yeah. I was looking for rope to hog tie him, but I don't think we get the rope for a few more quests now. these bodies? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Generous of you, mister. Leave no stone unturned. going on out here. Mister, I could use a little luck. Well, let's loot these people. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace, my friend. Check the shop. See what new stuff we can get. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Finger fillet. Let's see. Excuse me. Why can't? <laughs> I would love a game of finger fillet. Sure. You and me. How much you gonna put that? Five dollars. Howdy. Oh gosh. 
This is gonna be easier than I thought. Get down! Damn it! I heard in this crowd that committed a Knew I could win something. Try and keep an eyeball on my blade. Bye now. Hello. And you didn't even lose a thing. Bring me the next one. What's the last of it? Oh, no. I bet that's smart. Oh god. No. Oh god. I keep messing it up. This is it. I press B. Why I oughta. I press B. Guess I'll have to come back and beat you. I got thrown off my rhythm. Get me out of here. Hey, yo. See what was happening. Yeah, Nards. Swift retribution. Oh, jeez. Oh, what? Hello? Are you back there? Howdy, friend. Nope, we can't put no price on safety. Find a layer. 350. All right. So long. Whatever you purchase, they'll work. Oh boy. Okay, let's go. Back over here. Let's see this little side quest, actually. What's the matter with you? Oh, they took my boy. My boy. Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Oh. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? No. They can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. Where are you? Hanging rock. Is it up there? Yucky. Come on. Is this guy still gonna be over here? Okay, 
maybe he got eaten by coyotes. Seven three one. What is it with these things? Hello. It's a new line. Hello. Hello. Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest to goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. <laughs> All right, let's go. God damn. Ride with this again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. Awesome. Mistake, friend. 
keep shooting the ground. Oh, Let's geez. split up. You take the left, boys. I'll go right. Marston, you can go with the deputies or cover me. Let's go, Marston. Get a move on. What am I doing wrong? Eyes up, boy! Behind that rock! You got the rock to face me! Damn you! Alright, come on, Marston. Let's push on. Look! The deputies are making progress! <laughs> Keep pressing X like you get to reload. I'm giving you one last chance to put your hands in the air. Can I have this? Let's go, Marston. We gotta keep moving. I feel Look a out. sense of urgency. I can't stop. <laughs> I must go. I've got my shooting pants on. We gotta be quick. We gotta be quick. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around, listen up. All right, stealthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can.
Right, the hostages, the hostages. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. But one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman. Who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. <laughs> uh, a wise and respectable people. Save the day. TNT. Woo! Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Okie dokie, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I'm just gonna go through the canyon and backtrack and loot some bodies, so I won't put you through the pain of watching me do that. <laughs> but I will catch you guys on the flippity flop next video. Goodbye!